Good afternoon YouTube, is it still afternoon? No it's not, it's evening. Hello, this is day six. I was looking at Jane, we're getting no help there at all. Uh -huh. Day six. Well considering I thought yesterday was <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. Sunday okay. Today is Sunday. I'm absolutely no so help. It's the 8th there. of August. I think it's just, I think it's just day six. So you see the days really are starting to merge into one. Um, our plans for today were to see two shows and go to a press launch. That didn't quite work as planned, but we'll come back to that. Um, anyway, this is going to be a review of pool, brackets, no water. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit about um, the background to this play. So this is, this is actually from, uh, where we'll get, this is from Google Books, actually. It's about the book. Uh, it's the book of the play, if you know what I mean. So it's a hypnotic and razor sharp pull stroke, no water, tears up the ideals of friendship and art, exposing a deep vein of envy. The lines of the script are not assigned to particular characters or parts, but reveal a seething collective experience of guilt and jealousy, first performed in 2006 at the Drum Theatre Plymouth. So, this was brought to us by which production company is it, Jane? Uh, this is brought to us by the oddly, oddly oh sorry, I interrupted. Gone. Yeah, the oddly ordinary theatre company. So, um, do you want to read a little bit about? We, we were yeah. luckily we were handed one of these, which was a director's note, and actually it's the first time in this film that we've actually seen it. So I think that's a definite plus point is to have notes ab about. The production company in the play. Mm. Um, it was the three hander. So, do you want to just. Yeah, give me so a bit of there's read? various um, bits under director's note, but I'm going to read you this bit. In our unique interpretation of Mark Ravenhill's dark and extraordinary story, we dive headfirst into the ideals of friendship and art and how jealousy can infect and destroy both. Okay, now I have to, I have to own up here. Um, I didn't stay for all of it, not because um, I wasn't enjoying it, and we'll come back to that as to whether I was or wasn't, but it actually clashed with the press launch that we were going to. And so what the decision we made was that one of us would stay till the end of the play, and the other one would go to the press launch. So I went to the press launch, and then Jane came along after that, and I saved a seat and all that sort of stuff. So um, you saw the whole thing, Jane. What mm. was your impression? I I was almost sorry. I almost jumped in there yes, with something else. You did. I, I, I felt myself go like that. Yeah. Sorry. Um, Were you going to jump in? I was going to jump in. I just wanted to say that I thought I, I for the first few minutes I was really enjoying it, mm. but then after about fifteen minutes maybe 20 minutes, they lost me completely and it just appeared there was almost too much shouting up to that point. But you tell me what you think. Yeah, well, I have to say, I agree. The three characters are sitting and they're just talking. They're obviously um, old friends. Um, those three friends... Um, are involved in things, they've maintained their contact, they work together, um, they all have a, a big interest in art. They then start to talk, well in fact actually I think the opening line is a pool because it then transpires they're talking about a, a friend. Another friend, yeah. Um, who now is hugely successful and has sent them all pictures of her pool. In, in LA. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say that. Sorry. In America. Um, and they're sort of going on about it. Then one, uh, the, there's a female character and two, two males. Um, she gets incredibly angry um, mm. about this friend and her success. And we get every swear word, including the C word, um, several times several times thrown now, out at you and you just think well where did that come from I mean yes she was angry but 
um, it just seemed a bit OTT to me. Can I just pause you there and let's talk mm. about the, the use of bad language. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen other stuff in the past that has used um, expletives to great... Uh, I mean, I'm thinking back to uh, it's the first time I ever saw East by Stephen Burkhoff, and we had that whole tirade. Very well, actually, it wasn't quite as as like it is, but a tirade of verbal abuse, which actually was directed at the audience. Now here, it wasn't directed at us, but it was it was shouted. And now, I don't have a problem with the use of bad language. Really, don't like using the c word. But in context, it's fine. Uh, I mean, how did you feel about I, that? Because she'd been incredibly angry and and say you know, and the F word was being used quite liberally. But then suddenly, the C word came out several times, and I thought, well, is that is that justified? I mean, I get that you're angry about her success and how you may be perceived that she's treated you. Um, but I just felt it wasn't needed. Um, but again, as we always say, it's a personal thing. Now, I have to, my caveat here would be having read that this is a play from 2006 by Mark Ravenshill, I suspect he is where the, in our opinion, or in my opinion, and yours, mm. I'm guessing mm. to some extent, he is responsible for the use of that language because that's, yeah, that's the play. Now, it's their own interpretation of it, but I'm assuming that that's in the original script. Uh, yeah. So our issue, well, I'll say, well, I'll, well, I'll say well, my issue isn't with the actors because I actually thought they would, you know, the three actors on stage were, were really good. My issue is with the play. I think. Okay. And that, now, and I, I'm talking from a point yeah. of not not knowing yeah. what happens at the end. Uh, we haven't had that conversation about what happens at the end. I only saw it up to, I think it was another, was it 10, 15 minutes to go before I left? Mm. Yeah. So I don't know how it ends. Jane obviously does. Mm. Um, but they had lost me well before that. Um, so, but I don't want it to be considered. And I, I, I don't want, it mind had I not been going to another event I would have stayed because you and it was quite a good idea for one of us to stay mm. and and at least get get the, the end of it other people did walk out two people walked out before I had to leave and didn't you say somebody else left after yes yeah um I left about 10 minutes after you. well uh, maybe it was five minutes after you right yeah. okay yeah, right. A couple. So yeah. uh, I think the first two ladies left after the first. It was that big blow. Up. There's a, there was a, there's a point in the play where everybody's shouting really yeah. quite loudly, and we were actually sat at the back. We sat at the back on purpose because we thought we might have to leave early because we didn't want to disturb anybody if we were going to have to leave to go to our other event. Um, so we really sat at the back, and they weren't mic'd up, and I could hear them okay. But I, I, I suppose that I would have preferred them to be mic'd up. Mm. And in the loud passages where they were shouting, I was actually irritated by the amount of shouting that goes on. Yet again, that obviously is to do with probably direction from the script. I mean, yeah. I mean, I have a, a thing about... Often people feel that when they need to demonstrate that they're angry, they need to shout very loud. Often it's maybe more effective that they aren't actually shouting mm, yeah. because you're listening to what they're saying because mm. what they're saying doesn't change. You don't necessarily have to shout very loud to, you know... Anyway, that's my... No, I know. I, I, I um, take the same approach, yeah. really. Um, um, anyway, I mean, obviously, there's a narrative to this. There's a, a plot, but I, I don't think I'm giving away it, I, I felt that the plot wasn't necessarily uh, it, it's more of a narrative than a plot so I don't think and I'm not going to maybe be explicit about what happens but I don't think I'm giving away anything um, but they eventually go out and see this friend 
and there's an accident um, and the friend ends up in hospital um, and just before that point I'm thinking right okay because it was realistic I mean I know it's exploring themes of jealousy which obviously it does but it then sort of takes a different tangent and you know I'm because I'm a bit straight down the line I can do surreal and everything but why didn't anybody call for help <laughs> because they didn't call for help they took a photograph um, and then basically it's it's about turning the whole episode into an art installation at which point it gets a bit <sighs> is that after i left then yeah right um and then, I, I and then, remember it being and then there's um alcohol drugs dancing around shouting more swearing um and the, at one point they reenact um, being given um, LSD or something, acid okay. or if that's the same thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Anyway, I don't yeah. know. Um, and um, I, I just just wondered what was happening and why. Um, and oh, then they, okay. yeah. So you clearly um, didn't enjoy it. Not really. I can't say I enjoyed it. Well, I have to um, say, I wasn't enjoying it either. Um, uh, and, and I did... And I, they did I, lose I, me after about the first ten minutes. And then, sort of at the end... Um, yeah, the, anyway, it ends. Um, there, There is a... I don't need to say what was said at the end, uh, because that's part of the narrative. But coming away, I wondered... Because a lot of it is all about art is something that is referenced the whole way through in conjunction with this jealousy um, directed towards the friend and I just wondered well is this some kind of satire about art and mm. you know and, okay. and all these questions about what is art and the fact that it's always subjective um, etc etc was it actually a wider a wider picture and and I missed something I I don't know um what did you think about the performance it's forgetting the the fact of that I've already laid some of the blame for our my opinion on this uh, at the writers what did you think of the performances mm. well given the material that what they've got I thought I thought they were doing what they'd been asked to do. Yeah. They were doing it was they were directed. Um I felt some of it was excessive and it would have been far more effective if it had, if it had been toned down. Okay. Um cuz I think yeah, um I, I, I think there's another production later on in the fringe by this company and I'd almost we we won't be here which is quite sad actually mm. cuz I'd like to see these I, I thought I, I couldn't I didn't like the play up to our point point I saw it I wasn't enjoying it but I but I did quite like the the performance the the, the, the actors I, I wanted I, to see I, them yeah I wanted to see them doing something else because I thought they were doing a really good job with I don't want to call it poor material because you know um who am I I didn't write it you know but for me, it didn't work, and they lost me. Well, yeah, I I, I was lost, and I, um, because I wasn't quite sure what the point was, and that some of them, some of the scenes were just. I mean, I I wanted to avoid this word, but it, they were just silly. Okay. Um, and it would have been so much more effective if it had just been toned down. I know I'm right. repeating myself, yeah. but no, okay. Um, but but when the three actors they came out and and they were just talking um having a conversation between the three of them you know i thought this is going to be really really interesting mm. because i'm interested in in what i'd read that the themes were going to be mm. um um and i 
thing is nothing against their performances because I think they were asked to do to, to do that. Yeah. So mm. I mean, the fault may be in the the writing, or or maybe the direction. Yeah. It's hard to know. Yeah. Really. But I mean, I am quite interested I, I, in reading <coughs> the book that it's yeah, based on um, because I, I think I think it was a play first according to this because I've just noticed that further down. Oh, it says he book. says that that, that yeah. it was first performed in two thousand six, as I said in Plymouth, but the the book was published in 2015 uh, yeah. so I think it's just a book of the play ah. so I think the play came first right. I'm okay. guessing that okay. um, right that's interesting so um, yeah. yeah that was yeah. Just, that, thank okay. you Google for that okay. so stars Jenny well I may have missed something I'm, I'm quite prepared to admit that um, so I don't want to give it a two so I'm going to give it a three okay I'm not going to score it because I don't think it's fair because I didn't mm. see all of it mm. but okay. yeah oh you're, 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 I mean, you're I mean I mean I, to be fair what I saw based on what I saw I was I was heading towards a two but I, missing the last 15 minutes something could have changed and I could have changed you know mm. I could have changed my opinion but at that point in time, up until the way I saw it, then, yeah. you know, if you say three, then it's a three. Yeah. I'm, You're happy I'm with a three. Good three. So this is a three star review, okay? But it's not for us, not for either of us. So um, we'd like to know other people's opinions, people mm. that love it. If you, if you did love it, please. There was, you know, yeah, you, I mean, give us a there, comment there was down a lot floor. of applause. Yeah. There was at least one hoop. Whoop you know. or whoop. And, you know, it's like Marmite. Not everybody likes Marmite. No. Uh, so, but, you know. But the, I mean, there was a family there with quite young, I mean, you know, know they the were age, sort of know. about 12, maybe the youngest. The age is actually. Um, I mean, and it does say just for, it does, uh, but it is quite small. It's right down here. I'm not quite, and it must say it on the Fringe programme. I'm just going to have a quick look at yeah. what it says. But it does say dark and upset, upsetting themes discussed within the play. Mentions of strong language, sex, drug usage, Fort. and death. Sorry, 14 plus. Right, well, if you're so, okay with your 14 year old hearing and, and the, the C word multiple times. And the, then. The, 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 the people that were in there, the younger people that were in there, I thought I would have said they were probably all around about 14 plus. Okay, I thought one yeah. was about 12. But Maybe, but it's yeah. hard to know. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and, yeah, and maybe that's me being judgmental, and I apologise for that. But and. Anyway. Looking at the Fringe website now, um, the allocation, there's no tickets available apart from the 22nd. It's not every day, um, it's every other day. So the next show is the 10th, 12th, 14th, etc, etc, up to the 28th. Yeah. So it's, so it's, it's selling so, out. So we, selling we out. are probably wrong in that, in that respect. So, you know, we're not the, necessarily the audience for this. No. You know, Probably but not. we have to give an honest opinion. So, and other opinions count just as much as ours, really. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Um, I did film our the press conference that we went to, but I probably won't be showing that as a complete film. What I'm what I may do is include some of the footage taken, um, and. Actually, what we may do is just have a chat about it. I think in the okay. next video, we'll have a chat about it and we'll do that now, but we'll do it as a separate video. So if you're not interested in that, because we did have some very cool conversations with some of the artists that of, of work we've already seen and some of the people that we're, we, well, one of them, we're desperate to see. So, um, and I can include those bits of footage about those that we, we actually do see and, and that. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, have a, we'll do that as a completely separate video. Um, we had to do it now or we do it after tea, but we'll do it this okay. evening. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.